Welcome back, everybody. This is now on TTT Talk City 91.1 FM, TTT Live Online and TTT.Live. We are going to talk about SanFest 2018. It was launched yesterday. I have with me the communications officer, Alet Williams. How are you? I'm good, Rishi. I'm good. SanFest 2018 was launched yesterday. Tell yes. me a little bit about that. Well, this is the 48th edition of the SanFest National Junior Arts Festival. Now, um, our title sponsor is NGC, the National Gas Company, mm -hmm. Trinidad and Tobago. And the entire festival is geared towards giving a platform for primary and secondary school students to showcase their talents in a number of different forms and formats. So it ranges from visual arts, all the way to spoken word, dance, music, everything. Everything is done in Sandfest. Yeah. And... Um it's primary and secondary school hosted by the San Fernando Arts, Arts Council, Council in partnership with the NGC. Yes, the San Fernando Arts Council is the overarching body that has bo given birth to the Sandfest competition. Mm -hmm. And the NGC came on board about five or six years ago to help us to boost this initiative on a national scale. So it's Trinidad and Tobago, but this year Tobago isn't on board with us. Because Why is that? Well, we've had some um, a bit of challenges with engaging them, mm -hmm. but they are interested in coming on board, and they do have a lot of talent that they want to have involved in the competition. Just the logistics didn't work out this year, but we're glad to actually have them always interested in being a part of mm. the competition. So the launch was yesterday? Yes. How did that go? It was well received. We had, of course, our honoree for this year, our honorees, Mr. Winston Brambo, who is a stalwart in the creative sector, and Mr. Winston, um, Mr. Super Blue, who is another um, honoree that we're having, and he will be honored from the Pan and Sam. They will have to pay a, play a piece from him when um, Pan and Sam is supposed to take place. And that's what we do every year. Last year would have been Calypso Rose, and every year we choose someone that we want the students to center their Pan pieces around to honor. So the launch was yesterday. It was well received. Mm -hmm. What now? Well, now it's kickoff. Next week, Monday, we start in the St. Patrick District. Mm -hmm. And then we have our preliminary round of the Mr. and Miss Sandfest Teen Talent Competition. And that's just $50, and it will be in the Creative Arts Center, which is the home for the San Fernando Arts Council and for the NGC Sandfest Competition. So how does it work? You go to the districts, you go to the schools, what, what happens? Well, it's a lot that goes together. We have teachers who are coordinators that work alongside the San Fernando Arts Council, the Junior Arts Festival team, and what they do is they prepare their districts for the different classes, that's what we call mm -hmm. the sections, for the students to go into the preliminary round. And then thereafter, we go to the prelims, we go into the finals, and then there are the command performances which takes place at the end. The entire competition starts next week, Monday the 17th, and it ends in October, November, sorry. November the what? November the 19th. November the 19th. Yes. So, so it's just basically a month. Pretty much. Packed. And, so and how many districts are you all doing? It's about 13. 13 districts yeah. in a month. Yeah. And how is it going to be structured for the finals, or, or what is it? Okay, so what happens is that... When we go through the preliminary round, there's a small break. So we have all of the students enter, literary pieces, everything comes together. And then when the finals are about to take place, we have really, it's, it's really big. It's a really huge thing, especially with this, the Mr. and Miss Sandfest competition, which is like likened unto La Renrivi for Best Village. So it's a huge yeah, competition. So a that but what are the numbers like? Right now, we've had we've switched to online registration. Online. Mm -hmm. So we've made it easier for all of our participants and entrants to be a part. And we are still having registration go on at this point in time. So students have up until the, the first day. Do they register through their schools? They register, yes. They have to have their principal's stamp. They have to have permission from their parents, obviously. And then they have to have accompaniment with their teachers when they're coming to the districts so that they'll be able to perform. What is the website? Well, San Fernando Arts Council is sfattt.weebly.com. Mm -hmm. We're also on Facebook, yeah. NGC Sandfest, Mr. and Miss Sandfest. We're on Twitter and we're on Instagram. All right, thank you very much, Alet. And we have a past winner with us. Yes. Uh, with Lisa is Danica Linton. She was a yes. former Sandfest yes, winner. Yes, that's right. Hello, Danica. Hello, Aunt Lisa. And welcome to the set of Now. Thank you. You're in Standard 5. Yes, I am. And you were the winner last year in the first... Verse speaking. First verse speaking. Yes. 
category. And what's the difference between first verse and choral speaking? Choral speaking is a number of people reciting a poem mm -hmm. and verse speaking is one person reciting a poem. And I understand with only facial movements. Only facial. Yes. And what are you going to be reciting for us today? I'm going to be reciting a poem. And do you know that, what the name of the poem it's is? It's entitled, What Do You See? Is this your winning poem? Yes, it your is. Your winning piece. Yes, All right, so you're going to look at uh, this camera here. This is your camera, and okay. you are going to recite your poem for us right now. Take it away. Good morning, Auntie Lisa. Good morning, viewers. My name is Danica Linton, a standard five pupil of Sacred Heart Girls Roman Catholic School. And my piece is entitled, What Do You See? by Janelle Smart. When you look at me, what do you see? A future doctor, lawyer, or dentist maybe? A nurse, a dancer, or pilot really flying across the Caribbean Sea? Or do you see a girl standing here of a tender age, reciting a poem on this stage. And all that you can possibly see is my glaring disability? Well, I have to say, you're not the first and certainly not the last to have the wrong idea whenever I pass. To say in your mind, I feel sorry for this child. She seems so helpless, meek, and mild. My body might be disabled, but my mind is definitely not. I can count, read, and think critically when I give it a shot. Mathematics is my best subject. Creative writing, I love a lot. In class, when I am writing, Miss enjoys reading my plot. So when you look at me and all that you can possibly see is this little girl with a disability? I have to say, you're absolutely wrong. I'm a little girl who's ambitious, brave, and strong. I can't change me. I love being me. But what can possibly change is your perception of me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let me give you a I don't see a disability at all. I see a wonderfully Thank bright you, young lady who's good. What would you like to be when you grow up? I would like to be a journalist. Oh, really? Yeah. And look at where you are. Let's give a round of applause again. <laughs> Thank you so You're much, welcome, Danica. Auntie. And say hi to all your teachers. I know your teacher, um, your teacher is here with you, Miss. Miss is in the Miss in, Smart. Miss yes. Smart is in the back there with you. And congratulations Thank once you. again. Okay. So, Rishi, wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like, whoa. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. And it really, it's really nice to see young people do things like this, Lisa. Uh, you know, some people, as, as, as the poem said, you may look at her and see something negative, but she is using that as something positive. Absolutely. And that is what we need, more positivity and people to view themselves in a positive way. And that is the only way we as a country can move forward. And as an individual, that is what you need if you want to be happy. And that's what we're doing every morning right here now on this program. But right now, we go across to Tobago.